Hi guys. Hey everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. Hey y'all. So guys, I'm cleaning up some chicken. I leave it to tar out when I was going out. When I was going to church, I leave it to tar out. So now it tar out. And I'm going to wash it. Clean it up, wash it, and season it. This is the chicken. So welcome to my kitchen, guys. This is me, Marva Annette at home and about. Um, uh, um, I mean, that's my page. Page name Marva Annette at home and about. But I'm Marva Annette. That's my real name. Marva Annette. On my bird surfer ticket. Yes, honey. Marva Annette Broomfield. So, welcome to my kitchen, guys. So, I'm picking off this feather that leaves on the chicken and scrape off. Anything that is to scrape off of it, and then I'm cleaning off some of the fat. Also, then I'm just gonna wash it and chop it up. So I'm gonna cook curry chicken. So guys, I already clean up the chicken, and this is leg and thigh. So I'm now gonna wash it with lime and vinegar. So this is um, chicken parts. They call leg and thigh. Um, we call leg and thigh chicken parts. The leg and the thigh chicken parts. So if you want to say chicken parts or you want to say leg and thigh, it's the same thing. Same thing. I'm gonna chop it up guys because I'm gonna curry it. Still searching if I find anything more to scrape off. So guys my meat is all washed and chopped up and I'm gonna season it this is some onion powder this is some complete seasoning chicken seasoning Lemon pepper, which I like. Some black pepper. 
and I'm going to cut up some onion this is some seasoning salt put a little I'm going to cut up some onion and some sweet pepper and some scallion this is all purpose seasoning and this is the perfect seasoning So I have some chopped garlic. And I'm gonna put a little curry on it. This curry chicken. But I have to burn the curry. But I, um, I still put some over it to let it go on soaking when I rub it up. But I, skip, I still have to burn some in the oil. So guys, I rub up the seasoning and the chicken. So I'm just going to cover it up and let it soak. So it's curry chicken for dinner, honey. So guys, this is some pimenta seed. When you're cooking curry, you need pimenta seed. And I give it a mash. I gave it a mash. And this is ginger. When you're cooking curry, you need ginger. So, I have some oil in my pot and I'm gonna put my chicken in because it's soaked. I did, I was gonna put the ginger and the, um, the fermenter seed in there before, but I wanted to let you guys see it. Yeah. So I have scallion, scallion, um, thyme, onion, scotch bonnet pepper, sweet pepper, and more garlic. So I'm going to burn some curry. Even though I put some on the meat, I still have to burn some. And you don't make it burn until it turn black. You don't want that. You just want to fry some. by covering it and stir it up, covering it and stir it up, the pot cover is going to sweat its own water.
So guys, I'm gonna put some walkers wood with my curry chicken. And you cannot put um you cannot put ketchup in curry, guys. I well I mean if you want to put it, you can put it. But I don't put ketchup in there. And this is butter. Dinner is ready, guys. There's the curry chicken. So we have curry chicken with rice and peas. And uh, um, this is the gungo peas. The, um, the dry gungo, the can one, the one in the can. And this is a curry chicken. And this right here is a pepper on top. So guys, from my kitchen to yours, this is curry chicken with gungo rice and peas and vegetable which is lettuce and tomato lettuce and salad salad with tomato so it's the same thing we call it salad we call it tomato so guys thanks for watching me cooking my dinner and guys if you like the video please give it a thumbs up Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Mava Annette at Oman About.